When you write a loop in Python, what happens under the hood actually is it sends a signal to other engineers in your office. So they come around to critique you for not using vectors. Happened to me multiple times in a row. <laughs> what can I say? It's a language like any other language. It's just a tool. Uh, let me read you from the Zen of Python. There should be one and preferably only one obvious way to do it. Which is why we have three different versions, 12 different ways to install them and 80 different frameworks for the same thing. Easy install, Anaconda, Conda, Pip, Homebrew, different locations, slash framework something. It's a jungle, to be fair, a native habitat of a Python. Reads like English language. If you is with it or you is not with it. No curly braces anymore, like when I was 15. UW SGI. You have no idea how it works before reading the docs. Junicorn, Mod, WSGI, Django, Template Engines. Where would Web2 be without Python? Imagine YouTube was written in Python. Oh, it is? Well, that changes something. We started doing things on the Flask server on a hackathon and what can I say, it's running in production since two years if the timestamp in the SQL Alchemy is in the right format. Runtime errors are a pain, a pain, pain. When you do a global pip install, it's like you just added kilograms of weight to your machine. Don't ask what Python can do for you ask what you can do for python let me get my list i never took the time to learn how packaging works in python that's why they sent me on a crash course to ups now whenever things get uh, funky with our modules when we deploy on a cern fusion reactor they know it's me you do from module import object and things are good you do import package.module as object, things are good. You do from module import all, everything burns. When dependencies don't work, that's when the fun begins. I usually tell my students to pivot their idea then. So uh, let's, for example, start a new project. You just make a virtual environment then. Virtual env or a pip env or py env or conda easy install best to use venv though we use virtual env let me find the cheat sheet and behold if you need a python 2 module then you can just start all over new idea i guess learning to code python and moving to a new language then it's like learning to ride a bike and shifting towards an Airbus. You'll have to get rid of the training wheels. Wheels. Pip wheels. PyQT is a good option for building GUIs if you don't have any other option. Multi-threading is for everyone, but not everyone is meant for multi-threading. Python is not meant for multi-threading. No, we're not going to talk about the GIL. It's an unwritten rule. Wasn't that changed in Python 3.8? Yeah, we have multiple GILs now. It's called pop, pickle over pipes. Oh, no, I did it. Python is jack of all trades. Good at all of them, except production code, except in the way we use it. So we know how to write efficient production code in C, uh, in, in Python, which is basically C. Jython. Just uh, write it in C and wrap it in Python. I want to see you struggle. Python question number one, how to swap numbers. Question number two, how to get rid of Python versions. Uh, sometimes we do competitions on who can write the longest comprehension. And sometimes we do it in our production code. And sometimes we don't call it a competition, but just uh, work. If every variable is passed by reference, you might just use globals everywhere. Do you know why it's called Python? Because it's a sneaky language. Jokes aside, it's because of Monty Python. Because it's a joke language. Oh, because that one supports version 2.6 or 3.1, but not 2.7 or 3.0, but not. Oh, because if that makes sense. Mm. Which pip, which pip 3, which Python, which Python 3.11, which tell me where is Python? Look at this package. Oh, it's uh, for Python 2. All right, let's uh, have a different idea then. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, not the best to start, but it's the best uh, to know eventually when you want to do uh, machine learning.